hello it's good to see you again in this video i'm going to teach you how you can write your very first application using python and if you don't know what python is just to give you a quick overview python is actually an interpreted high level general purpose programming language and without going into much theory i'm going to get straight to writing the first application because uh, we can all talk about the theory but it won't stick unless we you know get our hands dirty and write some code so if you don't have if you're starting out first i I suggest you download the latest version of Python. So if you go to if you go over to Google, right, and just type Python download, right, and you can just download the Python. Uh, from here, the latest version is 3.8.5. I installed this version. Uh, there's also Python uh, previous version, which is two, uh, which will be not supported uh, at some point in the future so I say get the latest version of uh, Python I'm using my Windows laptop just install the uh, most recent one so uh, I have already gone ahead and installed this latest version uh, once you have installed this uh, Python provides us with the default IDE they call it idle so let me go to start and just type idle and it brings up this menu and as you can see this is uh, they call it idle idle is actually short for integrated development and learning environment and this is using the latest uh, 3.8.5 version uh, that I have installed on my laptop on my Windows laptop this is just a window that shows up when you open this one up first and to write your first application um, just need to go to file uh, new file or you can also do control n as a shortcut and uh, this is where the magic happens I mean this is you know just a vanilla window uh, doesn't have much uh, but it gives you a little bit of uh, you know color coding as you type so let's say view so what we want to do here is we want to write a small application where in this window we are going to write a small mini application so this application is about you applying for a driver's license let's say and the system should print a message if you are above the age of 18 it should say yes you are eligible to apply for driver's license if you are below the age of 18 it should say uh, too young to drive for example so let's say we're going to start off by creating let's say a simple variable right so so i can say current age is let's say 22 and or we can say age limit Let's say limit uh, or we can say age limit to be more descriptive and say 18 that's it so this is how you create variables in Python so we don't have to specify unlike C++ or C sharp we don't have to say int or something so this will automatically Python would know that because this is integer here 22 is integer this variable is now of type int the moment I say test the moment I assign a string to it this will now become a string variable so that's how it works I'm just gonna say the original value 22 so we just want to compare this and just print the message accordingly so I'll just say if current age is greater or equal to age limit which is greater than or equal to uh, age limit then we don't want to say braces or something because it doesn't understand the starting braces like java or c sharp or javascript so you just say colon and hit enter and c1 indentation so if i say print so now i can start typing the message that will be displayed on the screen I can say eligible to drive and we don't close the statement like that so and if I want to write the else if statement so I have to go back to the start of the line and I can say else and hit colon and 
I would just say too young to drive. That's it. Now we can run our program by hitting F5 or using the shortcut. You know, now we can we can run this code and we must save this one first. Just gonna say just gonna say drive.py that's the name of the file and all right this comes back with the result it says eligible to drive so we have now saved a file so you have to save a file and that's how we run it but this IDE may not be very intuitive it may not be very colorful so what you can also do is you can also do the same thing in Visual Studio code so I have VS Code open right here, so I can always go to open file and drive. And as you can see, this is a bit more slightly better than the default IDE. And it gives you nice intelligence as well. If you hover over it, it tells us that type of the variable. So for example, if I say age underscore blah blah, it gives us nice, it completes a statement for you. And if you want to run the program, we can click on this and it would give us the output here and if I update this to let's say you know 14 and hit that again oh, I need to save it first change that and save it and run it and now it says too young to drive this is our very first program in Python. So here you, what you've learned is how we declare variables in Python, how to have conditions in Python, and how to display the result in Python, and how to use the integrated environment, and how to use the VS Code to run your very first Python application. Hope you like this video. If it has helped you in any way, shape, or form, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you. And just before you go, if this video has helped you in any way, shape or form, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.